Welcome to my channel guys. In this new series, I'm going to create a Laravel application on top of Docker, which is primarily to you know have some elastic search capabilities for one of the projects which I am working on. Uh, there is a lot of you know, user generated content and I wanted to have the ability to have some very fast search engine at the backend, which is able to do things like stemming and uh, you know, other capabilities and elastic search in that that way is the perfect balance however i didn't want to install elastic and other you know moving parts for example postgres on my machine because i already have mysql php running on my machine so i decided to go with docker now i have this you know default laravel application running on docker this is on port 9000 right and this is you know the docker setup which is running i have three different services running which is elastic db uh, sorry the db the cache and the web so that is resulting in this application running on port 9000 um, basically what is happening is any browser when it hits localhost 9000 um, and it hits this in a set of containers first it goes to the php uh, service okay and the php service then is able to connect to all these three other services and that's how the entire setup works um, now obviously in this series uh, i will be using docker but you know that is not something which is a you know, must have if you have elastic search on your machine and all these other items for example postgres redis then you don't need to you know, look at the docker setup but uh, i would still prefer that you do that so that you don't you know mess up with your uh, you know working machine and um, yeah it gives you that flexibility to swap any container uh, for example tomorrow you decided to go with mongo instead of postgres you can easily do that right and uh, obviously yeah this is not going to be a course where i am going to go through the you know, basics of docker setup but having said that i have a docker compose file which is you know, responsible for the three services the web the db and the cache and while in, in the initial videos i am going to set up the docker containers i would try to cover as much as possible in terms of what here is doing what and what are the basic commands which you need to um, run in order for you know you to continue the development so yeah um, follow along and i hope that you will be able to you know just enjoy the series where we create our application in laravel doing elastic based search using docker 